Curly, Larry and Mo. I'm a McCain, I've been chip-tack, rubbing right for your kids and the old man. Oh, there's a man chips on the chip pan. 40% less fat. McCain oven chips really taste great. Gone like a flash from your plate, mate. Chips that are bad up to date, mate. Forty percent less fat. McCain oven chips. Better for taste, better for you. Wogan. Branson. Lloyd. And more. Tickets from six pounds from the Albert Hall or Keith Prouse. Dale Pack proudly presents. They came from out of the freezer. Starring Beef Dalestake. He's big, he's lean, he's made with pure beef. They grilled him for ten whole minutes, but they couldn't make him talk. When the chips are down, you can rely on a Dalestake. In beef, lamb, and gallon, available minutes from this television set. On for now, comedy with Curly, Larry, and Mo, the Three Stooges. Well, Richard Whiteley is no stooge. He's no Scrooge either when it comes to dishing out the points now in Countdown. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Welcome to another game of Countdown. Welcome, in fact, to our fourth quarter-final. We've already got three semi-finalists in just half an hour's time. We'll have our fourth. It'll be either Stephen Balment or Nigel Aspden. <laughs> so, here they are. Let's just tell you uh, all about them. Nigel Aspden first. He is a computer programmer. His home is in Farnborough, in Hampshire, and he works for British Airways. He put two opponents to flight before being brought down to earth, and his winning points total of 111 means that he is seeded number five. Good luck to Nigel. Nigel Aston. <laughs> now a familiar face from uh, very early on in the series, way back in... April, Stephen Valmont. Now, Stephen uh, is also a computer programmer, would you believe? And he comes from Leicester. Now, he stunned us on his very first appearance on Countdown. Very first appearance, very first round. He got a nine-letter word. Fantastic. Which was, of course, relations. Well, that set him on a marvellous uh, course because in that game he got 83 points. And that is a record. That is a record score for a normal game of countdown over nine rounds. So a uh, fantastic performance there with 83 points. Well, after that I thought he was going to run and run. But after two more victories he was knocked out. But still he notched up 189 points in his three wins. That's a marvellous average of 63. So he could be something of a dark horse. Seeded at number four, Stephen Balmont. <laughs> Now, as you know, our experts in Dictionary Corner often seem to have their winning words off pat. Well, today we'll have our words off Patrick. <laughs> as we welcome back Patrick Mower. <laughs> well, Richard, you're much too much, and oh so very, very, to ever be in Webster's. Dictionary. Oh, very good. Well, you might not be in Webster's Dictionary, neither will I, but I will be sitting next to the concise Oxford Dictionary, and I will be sitting next to, very luckily, Miss Julia. Julia? Julia. Julia. Swaddle. Sorry, it's my Thank first you. time with Julia. Julia Swaddle. <laughs> and she's going to look after me. <laughs> so, good luck to you two fellows. Stephen Bauman, number four seed. Nigel Aspen, number five seed. Round one, Stephen to start. A consonant, please. N. Another consonant, please. <laughs> Another N. A vowel, please. Thank you. And an E. Another vowel. O. A consonant. F. Another consonant. N. A vowel. 
You. Uh, another vowel. A. And a consonant, please. What a dreadful start. <laughs> I'm just seeing. Yes, I wonder if there are any long words at all in that. Let's see. Six, Nigel. Six again. Well done. Uh, here, Stevens. Nuance. Nuance. Good. Nuance. Yes. Good. Uh, Nigel. Exactly the same way. Nuance. Yeah. Uh, excellent. New nuance did well to get six out of that, didn't they? Patrick. Well, I can't beat. Uh, yes, I can beat six letters. Yes, I. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I wasn't. I was going to fire off with a cannon, which is using all the ends. But in fact, I've got a nounce, which is seven. It's eight. Or eight. It's eight, isn't it? Eight. <laughs> eight. One, two, three. Yes, it, it is, is eight. Right. Such a modest character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Eight. I was shocked. Indeed. Well done. So, a nounce you could have had for eight. So, well done. We've got six here, our chats. But well done if you've got eight at home. And well done you, Patrick. Six and six. Now, uh, Nigel, round two. A uh, consonant, please. R. <coughs> a vowel. And an E. Consonant. N. Uh, consonant. F. Mm, vowel. A. And, uh, consonant, please. G. Uh, vowel. I. Um, consonant, please. T. And, uh, other consonant, please. And an L. So that's it, and uh, let's start the...